Auckland FC have been announced as the A-League's newest club entering the competition in season 2024-25. So let's go ahead and create the club in EAFC 24 and see how they go in a season in the A-League. And of course, we get to select a rival and of course, it's Wellington Phoenix. So this is the fun part where we get to create the kit here for Auckland FC. And of course, it has been revealed and it's a stripy design. So I think we're just gonna go for this one. It looks pretty cool. Next up is the away kit and we're gonna try and incorporate some of that gold color coloring that they have in some of their branding. Unfortunately, you have a pretty limited choice when it comes to crests here, but we're going for a, a badge that has a similar shape to Auckland's crest in real life. Here we go, Steve Corica. We've made him in the game, of course, the inaugural head coach of Auckland FC here being presented. Corica. Here we go. Auckland FC excited about the future under Corica. Let's sign some players. All right, so we've put together a short list of players who a lot of these have been rumored to actually join Auckland in real life. We've also added some ones that we could potentially see join. Uh, even some Sydney FC players like Aaron Gerd and Jack Rodwell, of course, Steve Corica being the former Sydney FC coach, might want to bring some, uh, some of his former players over to New Zealand. First player signing for the club, Marco Rojas is in. Michael Wood, a goalkeeper rumored to be linked with Auckland. Auckland. Here's another Kiwi player we could look to bring back to New Zealand, but unfortunately, Callan Elliott not willing to relocate at this time. We couldn't secure Callan Elliott, so we've brought in Dane Ingham, New Zealand fullback from Newcastle Jets. Another defensive signing, Tommy Smith, another New Zealand player. Of course, we're taking the focus on the New Zealand players. And another major signing complete, Bill Tuiloma, New Zealand central defender, who's been playing his football over in the MLS, signing for the club. And another player rumored to join Auckland FC, it's Jakey Brown. What a signing from Melbourne Victory. Another major signing for the club, Sarpreet Singh, New Zealand international, returning to the country. Of course, he came up through Wellington Phoenix. Another New Zealander joining the squad, Storm Roo, signing from Mariners. 23-year-old New Zealand winger, Elijah Just. He's a free agent. We've brought him into the club. Another former Sydney FC player here, linking up with Steve Corica, Patrick Wood, in on loan from Sydney. Aaron Gerd also joining up from the Sky Blues. Another important signing here for the club, it's Jack Rodwell. And here we go. Here is our major signing, our marquee signing, Chris Wood, New Zealand international striker, of course, with an abundance of Premier League experience. As we prepare for our first A-League fixture, the transfer window has closed, and this is the team that we've put together. Chris Wood, our star striker, captaining the side for their first ever season in the A-League. Rojas and just on the wings, Jake Brimmer, Stamanich, and Singh making up a midfield trio. And then we've got a back four, which I think is pretty solid. Dane Ningham, Tuiloma, Jack Rodwell in from Sydney FC, Storm Roo, and we've got Max Crocombe in goals. A historic occasion for Auckland FC, their first First game in the Isuzu Ute A-League men's competition. Let's hope we can start off with three points in front of the home fans. Chris Wood, the captain. What a signing for the club. He's our star player. This is good play. Jake Brimmer in behind. Gone for the long throw here. Looking for Chris Wood. He's in the box. Heading it down. Rojas with the header. Good save from Thomas. Brimmer. We're building nicely once again. Rojas with the hit. Oh my goodness. Marco Rojas so close to the first goal. We've looked good. In this first half, Elijah just can he find a teammate? There it is. It's Sarpreet Singh, and it's a good save once again. Packed crowd here. The Auckland faithful showing up in numbers for the club's first ever game. Here we go. Patrick Wood taken out of it. Heavy challenge from Marcelo. Booking. Got a free kick opportunity. Wanderers in behind here. Huge chance for them, and for the first time, Crocombe's called into action. Great save. He has to create something here for Auckland if we're going to find this opening goal. Sarpreet Singh in a nice pocket of space. Through for Wood, who hits it and scores Auckland's first goal in the A-League. Delightful play. Sarpreet Singh with the assist. And the first time finish, Wood ain't going to miss from there. Full time in our opening fixture, Auckland FC winning their first ever game 1-0 at home to Wanderers. Good start to the season for Auckland FC. We sit third on the ladder after we see him through a few matches. Adelaide United leading the competition at this stage. Singh, Rojas, can we make the breakthrough in the distance derby? Building nicely. Staminich with a hit. Good save, Sale. Brimmer with a delivery. Nice. The header off the bar. What a chance. Still on here. This is good. This is good. Where's the shot? There it is from Rojas. Scoring the late winner in the distance derby. What a moment. 
It's time for the New Zealand Derby, Auckland FC taking on Wellington Phoenix. And let's have a look at where the sides sit on the ladder. Of course, we're flying high, top of the table, down the bottom. Wellington Phoenix with just 14 points this season. But of course, as we know, anything can happen in a derby. Huge occasion for the country, huge occasion for New Zealand football. Auckland, Wellington Phoenix, who wins it? Nice play here, Kerwan is in behind. The delivery towards Patrick Wood is good and just across the face of goal. Oh, the space for Phoenix, they're in behind. They've been slipped in. Oscar Zavada with the goal. That was far too easy, man. They snuck through. Good little passing play. Look at Zawada, man. Just, where, what's the defender doing there? Phoenix, Zavada again, finding that pocket of space. What a stop. Oh my goodness, no. Aaron Gerd will just gone in for the slide tackle, taking out Zavada. Krokum against Zavada. 2-0. The two New Zealand clubs at opposite ends of the ladder, but it's Phoenix that lead. But here's Brimmer. Oh, beautiful finish. We've got one back, Shaggy Brimmer. Not much time remaining here. We gotta find this equalizer. We're gonna play through the far post, champions. Oh my god. Steve Corica can't believe it. No one can believe it. Gone for the header. Are you kidding me? What a miss. We are running out of time, man. We are running out of time. We need this goal. Champions. Sing. Nicely done. There it is. Chris Wood. 2-2 in the derby. Capitalizing on the error at the back. Sarpreet Singh applying the pressure. Chris Wood again. Finishing with ease from there. No way. No way. Oscar Zavada has just shown up and scored a hat-trick. Even Chiefy's in there, man. Even Chiefy's in the celebrations. Heartbreak for Auckland, man. Oscar Zavada showing up with a hat trick. Last minute winner to defeat Auckland in the derby. Well, since that New Zealand derby that we lost 3 2 to Wellington Phoenix, it started a bit of a poor run of form for us. We slipped off the top of the table with consecutive losses here. Some wins coming here and there, but we've just, the good news is we've just got enough to hold us into the top six. Let's have a look at the final standings for this season. We did finish the league in sixth place. Melbourne victory ending up as premiers. Glory, Sydney, Western, and Raw making up that top six. And a look at the bottom six here. Even though Phoenix were bottom of the table a little while ago, it's the Jets who pick up the wooden spoon this season. So we are onto the final series. And how about this for a narrative? It's Steve Corica coming up against his former side of Sydney FC. It's a way to the Sky Blues, Western and Brisbane meet in the other Elim final. Sky Blues getting in behind early. Joe Lolly with his strength. The cross is good and it's 1-0. Joe Lolly, man, up against his former teammate too, Jack Rodwell. Out muscling. Robbie Mack with the finish. Oh, the Sky Blues are in again. Crocom can't make the save. Sky Blues take a two-goal lead. Joe Lolly. Ingham leading the charge down the left. Can we bring ourselves back into this contest ball inside for wood oh my goodness dude that's three man sydney fc have done it our journey's gonna come to an end here for auckland fc far too easy once again just a little bit too much space in the box max burgess ain't missing from there there it is this season comes to an end for auckland fc a mixed campaign plenty of highs but we crash out in the elimination finals away to Sydney FC. Here's a look at the, some of the stats from this season. Nikita Rukovitsia finished with the Golden Boots, 16 goals at Western United. Zavada's up there. We had Chris Wood up there with 11 goals across 26 matches. And here's a look at how the final series played out from here. Of course, we lost 3-0 in the end to Sydney FC. Raw winning their elimination final. In the semis, Brisbane Raw defeating victory 3-2. And then Perth Glory beating Sydney 4-1 on penalties. In the grand final, 1-1 in the end between Glory and Brisbane. Perth Glory winning their first ever A-League Championship 3-0 on penalties. So that brings our Auckland FC career mode to an end. We finished sixth in the end, crashed out in finals. Overall, had a pretty decent season, though, signing some big-name players. Thanks, guys, so much for tuning in. My name is Lockie. This is Coastwood Football, and I'll see you in the next one.